I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. We noticed that this sprinkler head, which happens to be the lowest around the perimeter of the lawn, was leaking. Since it was leaking at a time when the sprinkler system should have been completely shut down, that suggests that it is the valve, which controls when the water is going on and off, that needed hair or replacement. One way to take care of this is to buy a repair kit and attempt to repair the valve. This is a repair kit. As you can see, it contains mostly many different washers and O-rings. First, turn off the water from the main water supply that is coming from the street. Please watch my other video that can show you how to do this. Loosen the screws on the valve. However, if you find that you cannot remove the valve, you may need to first remove the anti-siphon, which is next to it. Loosen the anti-siphon cap. Remove the anti-siphon cap. In this case, as we look at that, we see hmm, there is no washer there. It has somehow broken off. Yeah, this needs to be changed. Now, you can take the valve off using this large wrench. So now you can go ahead to disassemble the valve. As you can see, you have to take it apart piece by piece. There are lots of different parts, and they are using many different sized washers and O-rings. As you lay them down, then you also need to look it at the pieces in the kit and no try to match there. with mm. match the old part with the new one of the same size. After you've matched up all the old pieces with the new piece, it's then familiar. reassemble the valve using the new washers, O-rings, and other pieces from the kit, piece by piece. Now, this is the time we need to remind you that as you're disassembling it, we suggest that Two things. One, that you lay everything out in order in a row, the things as you take them off of the valve so that you know what order they came off in, and then you will know what order to reassemble them in. And the other is simply take a video so that if somehow things get out of order or you're just not sure, you can look back at the video and see what came off first, second, third, fourth, and so on. Then you can replace the valve and the anti-siphon cap. Now, if you have removed the solenoid, you need to put that back as well. The solenoid receives information from a timer. The solenoid will turn the valve on and off. Now you need to turn the water back on from the main water supply. So now we've replaced a lot of the washers and O-rings that are in the valve. We've put the valve back together. So we go back to the sprinkler head to check. Presumably, the sprinkler head should not be leaking any longer. However, as you can see here, we've discovered it still is leaking a bit. Not as much, but it's still not as it should be. That in turn suggests that what we actually need to do is replace the whole thing. Replace the entire valve, not just to try for a repair. So you cut this uh, on the top. Okay, so this is the tool to cut it, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, so we cut this like this with this tool. Mm -hmm. hmm. So why did you cut so many small pieces? Oh uh, yeah, because the the angle. Oh, because yeah. the angle. It was too close. Oh. So I cannot cut from this side. Okay. So need to cut it piece by piece. There really is no other way to remove the existing valve except to cut it away from the existing pipes. After replacing the old valve with a new valve, it will look like this. The first problem encountered when putting the new valve in was that the two pipes in the new valve were further apart than the two pipes of the original. Therefore, we oh, need to add wider. some pieces ah. to make it all connect properly. So you have to have an elbow. So use this elbow. Mm -hmm. oh. So this is a different color, but it's still PVC or what? What? What is? 
Yeah. Okay. When you tighten PVC components, you, you do need to be careful uh, when using the wrench because because if you do not tighten it enough, yeah. it will leak. If you tighten it too much, it can break. But if you tighten too much, it gonna be a break. Yeah, PVC. Know? Yeah, it's break. So you need some the experience first. Wrap the top of each pipe with Teflon tape. Then fit the PVC pipe with threads over the Teflon taped metal pipe. So you see here another example of tightening a little bit too much because you see the PVC is cracking slightly at the bottom. Now, in order to join two pieces of PVC without leaks, we need to apply some PVC cement. And this is in two stages. First, there's a primer, and then there's the actual glue. Connect all your pieces of PVC using glue so that the valve can then be placed on top level. You should stop and check during the process because you want to make sure both that it's going to be level and also that it is actually the correct distance for, between the two pipes and the valve. Again, be very careful as you do this. Take your time to measure as many times as you need because once you've applied the glue and put some pieces together, if it turns out that you messed up with either the distance between the two or the leveling, you may need to take out the whole thing and start all over. Now, it's time to cut off the old solenoid and connect the wires to a new one. So now we check again. Turn on the water. Seems like the sprinkler is okay now, but oops, here's a new problem. Look around the base of the valves. Looks like something is now leaking at the base there, probably coming from one of the pipes underground. So we dig a few inches down below the soil surface. And what do we find? We find out that that metal pipe is in fact just a few inches down connected to a PVC pipe. Aha, we probably could have saved a lot of effort just by going down, had we gone down and started at the original PVC pipe and just connected with PVC rather than trying to connect to the metal. Okay, so now removed all of the metal pipe and cut more pieces of PVC to connect PVC to PVC so that there no longer is any of the galvanized steel there. You want to make a valve higher, higher. than the old pipe. Okay. It's not overflow. Uh, Another thing to note, as you replace old valves with new, the valve is at least six inches above the highest sprinkler head. Okay, now here's what it looks like with everything fixed, cleaned up, and it is all working well. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own Genius Tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the Genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos. You want to make a valve higher, higher than the old pipe. Okay. It's not overflow. Oh, I see. I see.